Good morning. I'm Tony Paraka, Field Applications Engineer with Kodo Technology. Today I want to introduce you to a new line of magnetic sensors based on tunneling magneto resistance from Kodo Technology. These sensors bring significant advantage to product design. Now that we've seen what the output of a unipolar sensor does, let's take the next step. Let's look at what an omnipolar sensor does. Once again, let's walk over to the chart and the devices themselves to see how this sensor operates and how it can be used in an application. This chart represents the output from an omnipolar digital sensor from Kodo Technologies, such as the RR121-1 XXX, representing different variants available. On the vertical axis is the voltage output from the sensor, and the horizontal axis is the magnetic field strength from an approaching or receding magnet. On the right side is increasing field strength from the north pole, and on the left side is increasing field strength from the south pole. The green lines here represent the output from the sensor itself. When we look at this chart, what we see is at this point, which represents zero magnetic field, or a position where the magnet is far away, the output from the sensor remains at a digital high we say the switch is in the off state. Let's consider a magnet approaching the sensor. And let's say it is the north pole of the magnet approaching the sensor. The field strength starts increasing. What we see here is the output remains at a digital high until a point BOP, or the operate point of the sensor, which generally corresponds to a certain distance between the magnet and the sensor. At that point, the output from the sensor switches from a digital high to a digital low. We say the sensor has turned on. So at the operate point, the sensor turns on. As the magnet approaches further and the field strength from the north pole increases further, the output remains at a digital low. What happens when the magnet starts moving away? When the north pole of the magnet starts moving away, the field strength from the north pole starts decreasing. We see at a point BRP, or the release point for the sensor, the output switches from a digital low state back to a digital high state. We say at the release point, the sensor has switched from on back to off condition. If the magnet is moved further away, as the north pole of the magnet is moved further away, the output simply remains in the off state. What we see here is, if it were the south pole, of the magnet that approaches the sensor, we would have a very similar output profile, but on the left side of this chart. These two being identical, we say the sensor responds similarly, regardless of whether it's a north pole or the south pole that approaches the, the sensor. For that reason, we say the sensor has omnipolar sensitivity. It responds equally well to the north pole and the south pole. It turns on at BOP, regardless of whether it is a North Pole or the South Pole, and it releases at BRP, whether it is the North or the South Pole. This has great advantage in an application. Because the sensor is completely agnostic to the polarity of the magnet, it, may, it offers great flexibility in the installation of the magnet in the product. The magnet can be installed without any regard to what pole of the magnet is facing the sensor. The sensor will operate equally well with both polarities. That's a huge cost advantage for an end applications manufacturing process. So these sensors find ready use in security applications, for example, uh, checking whether a window or a door is left open, a car door, for example, and a number of other applications. Let's now go to the demo board and look at how the sensor operates as we move a magnet closer or farther away from the sensor on the demo board. Here we have the omnipolar output digital sensor from Koto Technology, the RR121-1823-311. This is a high sensitivity omnipolar sensor from Koto Technology. It responds to the north pole as well as the south pole of a magnet. For this demonstration, I have the same cylindrical magnet that we use with the omnipolar sensor. It is 1 8 inch in diameter and an inch long. The silver side or the shiny side is a north pole 
and the black side is a south pole. As I approach the north pole to the sensor, we can see the sensor is turned on at approximately one inch from the magnet. Uh, if I reverse the pole with the south pole, we see the same response. The sensor turns on at approximately an inch from the uh, magnet. As the magnet approaches further, the sensor remains in the on condition as the magnet moves away. At a certain point where the field drops to B release point, the sensor turns off. And that is the same with the South Pole as well. For more information on these sensors, please visit our website www.kotorelay.com. You can download data sheets, application notes, and more information about these sensors. When you're ready to do your product design around these sensors and you're faced with questions about how to optimize the use of sensors, how to select the right magnets, please reach out to us. We are more than happy to work with you. Please send us an email at appsupport at kotorelay.com. We'll respond to you straight away and help you along your way. Thanks so much.